Scripps Health announced it's delaying some non-urgent procedures due to significant staffing shortages. This comes as COVID-19 cases continue to climb and hospital staff is overwhelmed. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kimberly Hunt. An ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala spoke with the CEO of Scripps Health. Mimi is joining us live with why the hospital system will work differently now. Mimi. Hi, Kimberly. He tells me the Scripps is taking this proactive approach and delaying some of those procedures that are not emergencies in an effort to help out the staff they do still have during this shortage. There have been a lot of uh, healthcare workers that have gone through three major surges already, and they're just tired. Healthcare workers are dealing with yet another surge in COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations, causing burnout and fatigue for many. You know, we've had people literally at the end of their shift say, I'm done. I'm not coming back anymore. Chris Van Gorder, president and CEO of Scripps Health, says the number of COVID-19 patients at Scripps 5 hospitals continues to grow since the state fully reopened. We had 13 inpatients, 13 COVID inpatients on June 15th. Um, that's when we ended the restrictions. And here we are today with 174 and growing. In addition to the COVID-19 cases, they're also seeing more patients needing care that was delayed during the pandemic. And now the hospitals are dealing with significant staffing shortages. Right now, Scripps is looking to fill 1,309 full and part-time positions. That's compared to 832 open positions in August of 2019 before the pandemic started. When it comes to registered nurses, Scripps currently has 433 open positions compared to 220 in August of 2019. Van Gorder says they need employees to fill positions across the board. We're talking about food service workers. We're talking about environmental services, um, surgical techs. In an effort to continue providing the best care with short staffing, Van Gorder says Scripps has made the decision to delay some non-urgent procedures for patients. He says this will not look like it did last year when all elective procedures had to be canceled. If it's not an emergency case, maybe a case can be delayed a few days or a week or even a couple of weeks. And it could be everything from, you know, um, a heart case that is an emergency that could be delayed a little bit all the way to other surgical cases or other kinds of procedures. And Van Gorder says doctors will decide which cases can be delayed and for how long, and they'll notify their patients. We're live in Hillcrest. Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News.